Winget is the solution for all of your software installation woes. It's like a superhero that swoops in saving the day. And who doesn't love a superhero? Well, I mean, I guess super villains don't, but you're not one of those, are you? Now, I was going to wait to show you this, but I have to show you right now. Watch this. Winget is a command line tool, which of course doesn't look very interesting, but it is awesome for all kinds of automation. But you can also use Winget with a graphical interface. That means you can have all of those superpowers without even knowing any of the commands. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. First, picture this. You're sitting at your computer and you need to install some software. So what do you do? Well, you open your web browser and either go directly to that website or you've got to search for it. And then of course you have to read through all those lovely ads just to find the first real search result. Then you click that site and hope you don't get a virus. And when you finally do find the download page, you've got to try to install it. Now you might have to deal with the nightmare of dependencies and error messages. But with Winget, you don't have to worry about any of that. Think of Winget as your own personal shopper. You just tell it what you need and it takes care of the rest. No more searching for versions or library files, no more dealing with compatibility issues or dependencies. Winget just does all the hard work for you, but that's not all. Winget is also a centralized repository for thousands of app packages. So you can say goodbye to questionable search engine results that lead you to sketchy websites. And the best part of Winget is it's built right into Windows. Now this kind of tool is called a package manager and our Linux brethren have been using them for years. Before Winget, we didn't have a lot of other options except to download some extra stuff and do extra configurations. I'm looking at you, Chocolatey. Which, you know, don't get me wrong, has been very cool and a lifesaver, but Winget is all built in. Which doesn't mean, of course, you can't use Chocolatey. More on that in a minute. Now let me show you how easy Winget is. Let's start with something really simple, like installing Notepad++. It's as simple as opening your command prompt and then you type winget space install space notepad plus plus and you hit enter and that's it. It knows where to go to download the package, grabs the latest version, installs it all for you without being prompted. Well, I mean, you might see like a UAC prompt here if it requires admin rights, but, but that's it. You can also search in winget for apps just like this, winget search VLC. Now notice that there are several items here, which means you have to specify the exact name or you can use the ID. So just copy the ID and then type winget install and paste in the ID. And it's that simple. You can also limit your search for a particular repo like the Microsoft Store, which is exactly how Intune apps were set up like I showed in my last video. Just search winget for something like sysinternals space dash dash source space MS store and that returns the exact results from that repo only. And if I go and open the Microsoft Store and search for sysinternals, this is exactly what we're installing. And yes, before you ask in the comments, Winget will install those WP Modern apps and Win32 apps. And if you think that's cool, clicking the like button would be really cool too. You can also get more info about the app before you install it, just type winget space show and then put in the name or the ID like videoland.vlc. You can see the publisher's URL, description, license, installer URL, and the hash all here. Oh, and it's also super easy to see what's already installed on your system no matter where it came from. Just type winget space list and in just a second or two, you'll get an entire list of every app installed on your box. You can also export this list with winget space export space dash o and then give it a file path like ctemp winget apps.txt. Now just stop and think for a second. What could you do with a list of exported apps? How about use them to set up a new VM? Here's a new personal virtual desktop host I've got set up in the cloud and I'm going to take my exported app list and just throw it on the desktop. Now right click on that file and select copy as path then open up your command prompt. Type winget space import and then paste in your path. Come back in a few minutes and all the apps that can be installed will be installed. Cool, right? You can even update apps with winget. First, let's check for a new version of VS Code. Just type winget space list space Microsoft.visualstudio code. 
and it shows the current version that we have installed and that there is an updated version. So just type winget space update space microsoft.visualstudiocode. And in just a minute or two, you're updated. But you've really got better things to do than check for updates on every app, right? Well, just have winget take care of it by updating everything. Just type winget space update space dash dash all space dash dash silent space dash dash course. And winget will update every app that it has. So you see the command line's not that hard to use at all. You can and you should take all of these and write them into scripts so winget will make your life easier. But maybe you really don't want to use the command line and you still want to use that GUI I showed you. Well, all you have to do is type winget space install space winget UI. Now, one of the totally coolest things about this tool is it combines all the powers of winget that we already talked about and chocolatey into one interface, giving you access to over 11,000 applications. Just type in the search box what you're looking for, maybe something from Microsoft, or maybe something more specific like remote desktop. And you could download here the AVD agents or even the AVD client. Or maybe you want Teams, or maybe something from Google. And when you found what you want, like Chrome, double click on it and the package will get downloaded and installed. Then Chrome's installed just like that. And just like in the command line, you can click right over here to see the package info. And it'll even give you the exact command that it's using in the background. And then you can take that, stick it into those scripts and use that for mass deployment. Now you've got the best of both worlds. And of course, there's a lot of other improvements coming to Windows and to Azure. So be sure that you're subscribed to the Azure Academy. And once you're done playing around with Winget, you have got to learn about ChatGPT and how it's gonna make you a better admin. You can do that right over here. Happy learning.